Hi there, this is Evgeny with Cisco Security Team. In this video, we are going to quickly walk through the setup steps that are required to integrate Firepower Management Center with Cisco M4 endpoints, and more specifically, one of the two capabilities that this integration provides, also known as AMP Unity. This demonstration is a short extension of the already existing YouTube entry that explains the feature itself as well as the value it provides. As a quick reference, among the benefits of this integration are the global file trajectory view, which is the visibility component, and the global outbreak control component, which is the actual power. So let's get right into it. Log in to the Firepower Management Center and navigate to the AMP Management tab. In this setup, we have already configured the functionality that powers AMP for networks. To set up an integration with AMP for endpoints, Let's click on the Add AMP Cloud connection and select the regional AMP Cloud instance accordingly. That will redirect us to the AMP endpoints console where we are requested to authorize the registration attempt. Doing so allows us to stream some of the endpoint events to be displayed in the FMC using eStreamer API, as well as it allows us to access AMP Unity capabilities. As mentioned previously, these capabilities include Global Outbreak Control and Global File Trajectory. Global Outbreak Control is used for file whitelisting and file blacklisting, applicable across all AMP-enabled devices registered with the AMP console. And this includes Cisco Email Security starting with version 11.1, .1, Cisco Web Security starting with version 11.5, and of course Firepower Management Center starting with version 6.2. Global File Trajectory enables us to access a single view that displays all of the AMP-enabled devices that have inspected a particular file, and that reduces the amount of time security investigators need to spend attempting to track threat delivery vectors. To verify that the registration was successful, click on the cloud name in FMC. That should redirect us back to AMP for endpoints, and there we can confirm that FMC shows up as one of the registered applications. And then FMC should also show up in the computers tab as one of the registered devices for which we can now define group membership and policy assignment. Please refer to the original AMP Unity feature overview video as well as the FMC configuration guide for additional details. I hope this video was useful and thank you for your attention.